Hey guys, so it is time for another sketchbook update video. Uh, I've got quite a few sketches here, um, and this is the first sketch I started with colored pencils. I really liked. Uh, I, I was working with Copic, Copic markers um, for a while there, and I did some uh, nude uh, figure drawings. And so I decided to switch to colored pencil, and I really uh, I got into it a lot. This was the first one. As you can see with colored pencil, uh, I use Prismacolor. You can really blend out and get really smooth transitions. Um, and for figure drawing, that's just awesome. I and mean, if you look at the abs here uh, and the stomach, I mean, there's a lot of different colors kind of happening there and stuff. So um, I like this drawing. I feel like this is a drawing where I look at it and I feel like I've made some progress. Uh, it looks like the skin is draped over a muscle structure, skeletal structure. And that's really, I feel like, when you start hitting the mark with figure drawing, is you start to draw the, the sac that is the skin and you can kind of get an idea of what's on the inside, uh, the anatomy on the inside of the body. And I feel like this one, I kind of captured that a little bit. So here's another color pencil drawing. After I did that uh, figure drawing one, I was like, wow, you know, the color pencils really work well on this paper and I really love the transitions I got. So I decided to do a portrait of uh, a photograph of my daughter when she was, I think she's two in this picture. Uh, this is my daughter, Elena. And after I did it, I realized how much my daughter, Elena, at two looks like my new daughter, Emery which I thought was really interesting that drawing her really kind of allowed me to see that. Um, as where when I look at them just like now, they look totally different. But um, as far as transitioning the colored pencil and just kind of drawing a very realistic drawing, uh, I felt like this is pretty good. It took me about, I think an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half to do this one. A little bit longer than most just because of how much like transitioning I did through the face and everything. Um, but, you know, it's, it was kind of kind of a cool drawing, different than what I normally do. I, I like to work from my imagination so much, and this was straight from a photograph, so. So, a lot of times when I do work from a photograph or something or from life, I'll kind of look at what I learned from that and just draw from imagination after I do it. Uh, so this was using those transitions in a drawing from my mind, so I just kind of drew this from my head. Um, and the eyes really like, I felt like you get that glassy look in the eyes. I really enjoy colored pencil. The problem with colored pencil is it takes so long. These drawings take way longer than my regular pencil drawings. Uh, blending the colors out and everything like that just takes forever. And if you, I did do a video on blending colored pencils, so um, maybe I'll link that here. But if you're curious on how I do all the blending and everything. <clears throat> so this is a getting back to my pencil and drawing from my, my imagination. I always feel like when I draw from life or when I draw like from reference and then I re go back to drawing from my imagination, I, I remember the things that I did from pictures and from my imagination and everything. And for some reason, I just feel like I draw better. It's like bouncing back and forth really helps me, I feel like grow as an artist, which is interesting. Uh, this drawing is really weird though. It's like, it's a woman's face, but she's really creepy and she's got like an android body, so it's like our android or a robot, and then she's got this fetus like in her stomach, in this glass stomach, like growing. And uh, I like this one a lot. I like the perspective, like you're looking down at her. It's just a really fun, creepy drawing. And I feel pretty successful on this one. So here's a drawing where I decided to mix uh, regular pencil and the um, colored pencil. And I did this because I just wanted to do some more blending with that colored pencil because I thought it looked really cool. Uh, but I also wanted to do like the gears and mechanical parts um, that I normally do. And I can get really detailed with um, graphite, regular graphite. So I just decided to mix them and this is kind of what popped out of my head. I probably started with the face and then just at, started adding stuff and the flower pot just kind of happened. So it's kind of a weird robot face flower pot thing. So <laughs> there's, not a, I don't know, when I draw stuff like this, people are like, well, how do you think of these weird ideas? And like I always tell people, I try and say this as much as possible. It's more just understanding shapes and what you can turn shapes into. Um, 
and that's what I did with this. I just kind of let the drawing kind of build itself, uh, but yeah, I was really liking those colored pencils, so uh, this is kind of an interesting drawing. For this one, I was trying to work on the figure drawing stuff that I had done earlier, but from my mind. So this was kind of figure drawing, drawing anatomy from my head, uh, based on what I learned from doing those figure drawings earlier. Uh, just blending with the colored pencils and stuff. And I really, I mean, the colored pencils look so, so nice blended. Like I said, though, the only downfall is they take so long. But this is just a weird, uh, I don't know what you even call her. She's got deer antlers and like spider, mechanical spider legs, and she can detach from her, <laughs> her legs. So that's just a weird drawing, but uh, kind of a fun one. This was just a, I was just flipping around my pencil and drawing stuff, and these are the faces I came up with, uh, which I like. I thought they have a lot of character. The dog is interesting, this weird, I don't even know what the heck that is. It looks like a video game character or something. And this guy has weird bubble head, but um, just interesting little character face drawings uh, that I was kind of just scribbling out. Uh, sometimes when I don't feel like drawing or something, I'll do pages like this where I just draw quick sketches just to draw. Uh, so this drawing was from Sketch Dailies, which is like an Instagram thing. I think it's a Twitter thing too. Maybe both. I don't know. But anyway, they post like a daily sketch or something like that you can choose to draw. And I had missed like three of them and I decided to do it that day. So the last three were Lucille Ball, uh, Charlie Theron from Mad Max, and um, this little cartoon guy. I can't think of his name right now. So I just decided to combine them all in one drawing. So it's Lucille Ball and as the Mad Max character and then this little guy with the Mad Max arm. And it was just kind of a fun, interesting drawing. Again, messing around with the colored pencil mixed with the graphite. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, I kind of like the way it turns out, but I mean, the whole thing in colored pencil might look better, I don't know. It's just got a different quality than what I normally do, so. But it's kind of a fun drawing. And this was uh, just kind of, yeah, messing around, having fun. So anyway, I think that's it. Nope, not the last one. So one thing I've been messing around with um, the last couple of weeks, or last week since I've been in Hawaii, actually. I went to Hawaii last week. And uh, I did this one uh, the day before. And I started messing around with doing t-shirt designs like some cool, interesting, uh, just graphical, fun t-shirt designs. So that was kind of the inspiration. Doing t-shirts was kind of the inspiration for this one. Um, and I've done a few other ones since, and my next video will probably be about doing the t-shirt stuff and just coming up with cool ideas, but in this style, this black ink, very graphic, kind of graphic design style, uh, which is very different than what I normally do. Um, but if you want to check out the shirts I've worked on so far, then you can go to besketchy.com, which is my website, and I have like shirts posted on there. Um, but it's really been fun. So my next video, like I said, or one coming up, will be about designing t-shirts and everything. Also, uh, the Creative Art Challenge, you guys still have till the 20th. I've already gotten some submissions and stuff like that. So you still have till the 20th to do the Creative Art Challenge. I hope to see um, all your guys' work there. And uh, don't forget to, you know, give me your uh, YouTube channel or Instagram account or whatever to promote your art if you do uh, decide to do that. But anyway, I hope you guys like the sketches this uh, from this last week. And um, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.